in my last video, I've been talking about LaTeX and that I'm doing my data engineering cookbook with LaTeX. And so it's a, it's a larger document. And at some point you're running into some kind of uh, the need of version control. You need to figure out how to do version control. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how I'm doing it. I'm doing it with GitHub. Okay, so with the cookbook, um, one thing that is always crucial is to keep track of your versions. You can, of course, just make a duplicate of a document and work with the other document. But at some point, it's always dangerous that you uh, delete some stuff and you forget about it. And then some, yeah, a few weeks back or a few weeks uh, in the future, you're going to miss it and then where is it and maybe you have forgotten to save it and it's very easy to save over over stuff so this is always yeah it's always hard also it's uh, complicated to uh, keep track of what you're what you've put into the document for me this is important what i have put in the document and that i don't necessarily or uh, accidentally uh, delete some stuff is i'm putting it uh, putting the document uh, while I'm creating it on my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash plumbers of data science, you can get access to it, uh, the table of contents and the uh, the introduction is for free. And whenever I do an upload, I'm just making a post where I say, okay, I uploaded this and this and this and this and this. And yeah, if you're now, let's say you have a few days, you're working on a few days on the document and then uploading it. What exactly have you have you changed? And a cool way of doing this is with uh, with GitHub. I have been preaching uh, about GitHub for a long time, and the combination of LaTeX and GitHub is really is is great, because what you're doing in LaTeX is you're basically creating a text document. This is just raw text. And this is very easy uh, to upload to GitHub or to synchronize with a GitHub repository. So what I have done is I have downloaded GitHub Desktop on my Mac. You can get it from desktop.github.com. It's just a piece of software that helps you manage your repositories. And so here already here is it already. Um, you can have your uh, your repositories. What I have done is um, the thing with GitHub is if you're if you're using the free version, your repository online is always accessible to everybody. So um, I just created a local repository on my Mac, and I'm using this here. I'm I can do this because I'm using Time Machine on the Mac, so the Mac or uh, already automatically gets backed up to my uh, NAS system so doesn't really i'm i'm uh, i'm quite secure that the repo doesn't get get damaged so the cool thing with this is that you can um, look into everything you have changed in every version and what i have done recently i so i have started and then i have made a new branch whoops i have made a new branch version 0 0.2 and then now I can I can uh, look at what is in 0 0.2 and the cool thing is I can then compare it to the master branch for instance. And so you can see uh, in this um, in this commit I uh, I wrote I added a lot of new stuff and then you can just go in and find your text file here and then you can see everything that you have uh, put in the file and with in green and everything you deleted in red. So it's super easy to find out what exactly have you put in to the whole thing and delete it. It's very, very simple. And at some point uh, when I'm doing uh, 0 0.3, I'm going to uh, merge this branch back to the master and then um, make a new branch. So the idea here is... Of course, now you could have an editor who is using the same thing and is is already is also editing stuff in, but it's great to keep track of what you have changed and make it make it uh, transparent 
for you and for for a possible second editor yeah and that's already it so latex and uh, and github very very good if you're if you have changed something or, or if you've messed it up just do another pull from the repository and you're back on the old branch and you can you can work and, and and continue where you have left off and if you're finished with something just do a quick uh, commit and push it up into into the repository and then yeah you're finished the fun thing is you're also learning uh, stuff about github just on the side so that's already it um github desktop latex very very good see ya